Well, I already dug into this little radio, and I didn't think I was going to do a video on it because uh, the radio works just fine. I don't think it needs anything. And it's a little Motorola radio. I actually bought this from a little shop down the road. Probably paid way too much for it at 45 bucks, but I kind of wanted to help the lady out. Anyway, it's a this pink color Motorola radio from 1965. And there's the real pink color on the inside that's not faded out. So I've already got it pulled out. And like I said, the only thing that was wrong with it is one of the tubes had just fallen out. Um, so I popped it back in and the radio came up and ran just fine. Tunes really well. Uh, no uh, you know, hum from uh, bad filter capacitors. The one thing that is bad is the clock itself. The little clock radio part. I've already got it pulled out. And from what I found out online, and this one's just noisy, and it's these little motors. Now this just goes right in here. You take these screws out and it just pops right out. There's no wires that connect to it or anything. And uh, these things have uh, a level of clock oil in them, and the clock oil dries out over the years and makes them noisy. So what you're supposed to do is drill a hole right over here and then put some uh, brake cleaner in it and clean the insides out and then put some clock oil, which I have. Let me get some clock oil over here. You put a certain amount, uh, like 1.5, 1.6 milliliters of clock oil in there and that seems to fix them up. So that's what I'm going to do to get this thing working again. Here's step one of uh, fixing this motor. You gotta use a drill press to drill a hole in the side so you can uh, get some cleaner in there and clean it out and then um, put lubricant back in. Now this whole procedure I copied from uh, another guy on YouTube and I'll link to his, uh, his uh, video so that uh, you know, I'm not going to repeat everything that he did, but this is the first step. It's a real hole. So let's see if I can get that done. Uh, it appears I didn't drill my hole just right because you're supposed to, according to the guy whose video I'm copying, get the syringe in there to suck up the cleaner. And he said just use brake cleaner. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do a little bit differently than what he did. I'm just going to spray it in there like that rattle it around. And then just get it out. I guess I should move my beer out of the way here so I don't get brake cleaner in it. Oops. So I'm going to do this a few times and uh, see if I can get that cleaned out. And then I'll add some oil. Let's see what happens. Let's do this. Let's put this around it. It looks like the cleaner is destroying my little solo cup, so. That's not working. But I think I got it cleaned out. Looks like the stuff that's coming out now is pretty clean. So I'm going to do one more shot here. Again, the guy I'm copying uh, said to let this dry out for a while, so I might give it a few hours or maybe even overnight to dry out before I try adding the uh, clock oil, which I've ordered a little kit of uh, clock cleaning kit. It includes oil, so got that. It looks like that's cleaned out. So next step, oiling it up. Alright, I think he 
just had to put less of two milliliters in, 1.6 to 1.8. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw some in here. like uh, just shy of two milliliters and draw a little bit extra. Yeah. This is shot. Oops. Now. Maybe I should have uh, drilled that hole a little bit bigger. So I think the uh, air I'm displacing is pushing the oil out. Okay. Epoxy or solder up that hole, it should be good. Yeah, I got the clock uh, remounted and uh, assembled back in the radio. And let's see if you can even hear it. It's much, much, much quieter than it was before. It's just a a hum now and a slight little noise um, about as loud as I remember them from back in the in the day so I think that's fixed and uh, turn the radio on here again it was working when I got the uh, radio so I didn't really do anything to the radio board itself except test all the tubes they tested pretty good Story. There we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, like it's it's COVID. They're figuring it all out. Yeah. Like it's it's fine. The Heat and the Lakers are going to be up against it as far as how long they've had off. But the East is going to be really interesting. So, cute little uh, pink Motorola, very late tube era, 1965. Um, but it works, and the clock is working and accurate again, and uh, nice little. Uh, Time piece.